Hello, my name is Cheryl Martin. I am the Marion County's Community Services Director, and we are going to go over the request for application for fiscal year 23-24. For agencies new to this process, this is our annual application cycle available to organizations who are here to serve our community. A little bit about community services and the funding that is provided through our department goes to organizations who serve the most vulnerable population. Our 23-24 application requirements have slightly changed from previous years. Number one, we're expecting completed applications. Two, all affordable housing projects must have a land use and zoning verification letter from all local governments. Three, any continue of care applicant interested in applying for the HUD Notice of Funding Opportunity this application is a requirement and will be used as a pre-screening tool. Our priorities for 2023 and 2024 are affordable housing, homelessness assistance, and don't worry, our scoring committee will determine which grant funds are eligible for your project. You can view the priority locations through our interactive map. Some examples of affordable housing projects are rental acquisition and rehabilitation of existing buildings that'll benefit a low to moderate income person. Project totals can range from 1.2 million and grant funds such as home and ship can be used to help subsidize that rental apartment complex. Another example for homelessness could be to increase our permanent supportive housing, support our rapid rehousing, support homeless prevention programs, and provide wraparound services to those who are experiencing homelessness. Some of the funding sources that can be used are CDBG, Home, SHIP, and ESG. And again, don't worry, our scoring committee will determine which funding source your project is eligible for. So you may ask, when can I start the application process? Well, let's look at our anticipated timeline. Our application deadline is due March 20th. Invitation to negotiate letters will be sent out in May. And contracts will be drafted May through September, depending on which funding source you receive. Now, let's jump into the application. Please, as you read through the application, keep in mind for the purpose of this training, some elements have been highlighted and added for your reference. Again, if you are applying for the Continue of Care COC option below, this application becomes the pre-application for future HUD Notice of Funding opportunities. And if you decide to apply for one or more project type, you will need to complete an additional application utilizing a separate Zoom Grants account created and associated with a different email address. Certifications required from the applicants must be checked and acknowledged in order for us to consider this a complete application. All applicants and or organizations must comply with 2 CFR 200. Any organization who has received or anticipates receiving more than $750,000 will be required to perform a single audit upon completion of their project within that calendar year. It's important to note additional applications will be required if seeking to apply for more than one option. As you begin describing your project, per question four, please make sure that your project is quantifiable and uses the SMART goal technique. Again, remember all funding must serve low to moderate income households or people who are literally homeless. They also must be located within Marion County. Again, measurements and outcomes, examples, how many people, housed by what specific date. 
as you're looking at planning and budgeting, please provide total program cost when describing your planning and budgeting process. And with question number three, explain how your program services will benefit a low to moderate income population and how you will handle income verification. Please describe in detail how you will do that. And if you're unsure, it's okay. Just state that you're unsure. As we move through the application under administrative financial capacity, question number five, if your organization is seeking homelessness assistance programs, it is mandatory for your organization to access the Homeless Management Information System, or otherwise known as HMIS. Moving to question number nine, has your organization spent federal, state, or local funding during the most recent fiscal year? If yes, it is mandatory that you list every funding source for that year. As we move to question 11, is your organization able to work within the guidelines of the county's reimbursement process? You will be required to have sufficient funds available to purchase, provide payments, and submit requests for reimbursement to the county. And it's important that you explain your ability to do so. As we move forward with project readiness, these questions can help increase your eligibility for grant funding. For example, number five and six, is your project in a community redevelopment area? Is your project within the urban service growth boundary? Please refer to the interactive map shared with you earlier. As mentioned before, you must have a completed application in order to be eligible for funding. All required documents listed here must be completed or your application will be considered incomplete. We have included the scoring matrix shown here to help you understand how your application will be evaluated. And please check out our FAQ for frequently asked questions on our website. If you have questions regarding housing, please contact Helen Yuri, the housing manager. If you have questions regarding homelessness assistance, please contact Scott Quintel, the continuum of care manager. And for all other questions, please contact Charles Rich, our community development administrator. We hope this resource has been very helpful and we look forward to working with you to better our community.